up here. Hey everybody, this is Hook Setting Adventures, Fishing with Puddin'. Well tonight uh, I'm going to be down here at Rivermont Park in Hickson, Tennessee on the Tennessee River. I'm going to try to see if the blues are off the beds yet. I'll be using uh, a mix of live bait and some cut skipjack that I picked up uh, yesterday. So uh, I can hear them out there splashing around so something's moving. So everybody, let's go fishing. Here we go. First, uh, first piece out is a live bluegill. Got it on a on a pool noodle float. So let's see what we get. Well, it looks like I've got the boat dock all to myself now. When I got here, there was a, a group of people over there on the, on the fishing dock itself. So I came over here on the boat ramp. I didn't see any, uh, any boat trailers, so I don't think I have to worry about any boats coming in anytime soon. But uh, all the baits are out, the lines are tightened up. I've got uh, the one live bluegill it's on the uh, pool noodle float, and what I did with it is took one of those little uh, uh, light stick bracelet things from uh, one of the dollar stores, and it cost, here, are you ready for this? A dollar. And uh, so it's poked in this top there, so it helps me see it. And then uh, the other, see so what I've got here, five other, well, four other lines out, and they're on a, three ways uh, with uh, cut skipjack so now it's just a matter of sitting back and and waiting Had something messing with that uh, on this Pisces fun rod. I hope we we'll, I hope we we'll hook something on it. It'd be nice to get the stink off of it. It's the first time I even cast a line on it. Well, you know the dinks are messing with me. I got all excited hearing that bait clicker run, and it just gave out. It just wasn't big enough to grab it. I think for a while, I'll go ahead and leave the lights and cameras going, at least until the batteries give out. Here we go. Well, I tell you, that's pretty frustrating. And little dinks just gnawing that uh, that body piece on the skipjack up. 
but uh, they're just not big enough to grab it and take hold. So let's give it another shot. Let's see if this is it. I really wish it would take hold of that one. I need to get the stink off that uh, Kuma rod with the Daiwa Seagate reel on it. Keeps playing with it, making me mad. Every time I get into my phone game, it does, it does this. Well, these lines have been quiet for too long, so I think it's about time to pull them in and see what's on the end. All right, fish on. Got the stink off the Akuma. Finally. Not too bad. Bit of a dink. He's got me all slimed up. I think we're going to have to get a weight on this one. Just to see where we're, just to see where we're sitting. We're gonna call that. It's gonna stop bouncing around on me. 
Call it 11 pounds. Yeah, that's a nice little blue there. Okay, so there's one. We got uh, 11 pound blue on my Akuma with the Daiwa Seagate. So the stink is off that rod. Something took the bait on the uh, Pisces Fun. Or it just fell off, who knows. But let's get those two baited back up and uh, see if there's something else before it's time to head home. Okay friends, let's call it a night. It's nice to catch a, a cat for a change. Uh, it, was a, it was a good night and they that started out they were playing around. Now, uh, my guess is they were probably dinks and they uh, just didn't have enough mouth on them to, to grab the bait. But now once that one took off with it, he took off. Uh, it was a good night and then I only lost one set of hooks. Uh, and I don't think it was a mustad. Those things are so expensive. But uh, other than that, once the uh, once the river slowed way way down, the bite just fell off. So I'm gonna head to the house and put my big fat head on a big fat pillow, and then tomorrow I'll get up and clean all this gear. Thanks for coming out with me. If you uh, if you would do me a favor and uh, subscribe to the channel and be sure to smash that bell icon there so you'll be notified every time a, a video comes out now thanks again for all of you that have subscribed so far uh, look forward to more fishing trips with you in the future thanks again this is hook setting adventures fishing with pudding